Hi everyone! I spent a few weeks in a desperate search for the old fan-made RPG game, which I later found and will be playing in the future. During my search, I landed on a site called Text Adventures, which has an entire category dedicated to Warrior Cats. Let's play a couple now. Our first game is Warrior Cats by Creeper Archer 109 Here you play as Violet Flame, a dark grey she-cat who lives in ThunderClan. I may make a number two! I'm pretty sure, based on these comments, there is no number two. And Violet Flame is a pretty cool name, so let's get started. You wake up. It is Greenleaf. And it's dawn. You pad out of the warrior den. Just one den, for, or just one warrior. And inhale in sweet and inhale in sweet scent of leaves. Your litter mate Cloudfeather pads next to you. Hey, I heard Dark Feather likes you. Embarrassed, you duck your head. Everything is coming together. <laughs> Apparently there was a plan before this. Was there is this part two? He praised uh yeah, he praised you when you caught a pheasant that fed nearly the entire clan. He saved you a juicy mouse. Your favorite. Cloudfeather snorts. Easy for her to say. She already has a mate. You walk to the fresh kill pile and look for something juicy. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. You notice Darkfeather heading towards you. Panicking, you say to him as he arrives. <laughs> These are brilliant choices. Um, I'm just gonna go here. Uh, hey. Hello, he responds carefully. He grabs two thrushes. Your favorite. He gave you one of them. Thanks, you stammer and eat it quickly. Dark Feather, Violet Flame, you cringe. You see the Thunder Clan deputy, Feathernose, approach you. You two are in a hunting patrol with Ginger Pelt and Rain Speckle. You feel dread. Why must she be with Dark Feather? The heck is she? You talking about Feathernose or one of these other two? I don't know who any of these are. You exit the Gorse Tunnel. You sniff the forest floor for scents of prey. You ped deeper and deeper in the forest, and eventually you smell rabbit. You waved your tail, alerting the patrol. So I don't wanna... I really don't wanna go into this grammar here, but uh, for people who are writing fan fictions, just stick with uh, either past or present. Don't... don't do both. That's not good writing. Ginger Pelt padded towards you, sniffing the air. You catch white fur nearby the holly bushes. You point your tail to it. You crouch and stalk the rabbit. It nibbled warily at a clump of holly berries. Holly is very, very poisonous for rabbits. Don't, don't do that, rabbit. You point your tail to it. You crouch and stalk the rabbit. Oh, I already read that. As soon as you were a tail length away, you leaped. You landed on the rabbit and killed it. Your patrol congratulated you, and you buried it deep within the ground. A shriek cuts through the air. Badgers in camp. You and your patrol rush to camp. At least a dozen badgers are attacking the hollow. You see two surrounding the nursery and one at the elder's den. You run to... Oh. Here's a choice that's actually... You know what? I'm going to the nursery. Save Fern Cloud. You rush to the nursery. Dark Feather with you. You confront the badgers with a flurry of blows and Dark Feather attacks the other with a heavy tackle. The badgers were surprised. They gave up trying to invade the nursery and attacked you both. Your badger swung its mighty brong its mighty paws at you, but you nimbly dodge. You attack it again, and Darkfeather ripped off a chunk of the badger's pelt. It bellowed and pinned Darkfeather to the ground. He squirmed helplessly. You wanted to help, but you were already locked in combat with your badger. I thought you guys were fighting the same badger. Anyway, stop fighting and help, or keep attacking your badger. Hey, save the clan. You quickly finished your badger with a painful blow to wrong its neck. It bellowed and ran away. You quickly tackle the badger that pinned Darkfeather. The badger roared and released its wrong its paw on Darkfeather. By the way, this is it is the one without the apostrophe S is the uh, possessive one. The tom rolled away and sprang to his paws. Together, you exchanged blows and attacks and drove the- you ex If you exchange blows and attacks, you're fighting each other. This was made probably years ago by a small child. I should probably stop making fun of its grammar. You hear a victory caterwaul. And I can't pronounce that word. And you re realize ThunderClan prevailed. You celebrate. 
You and Darkfeather shared a squirrel. He was fidgety and nervous. As you finished, he asked if you and him could go on a walk with him at the lake. You say... I don't know who this guy is, but he's my clanmate, but I don't know who he really is. I'll say okay. Darkfeather looks happy. You head outside with him. At the lake, he holds a rose. Alright, so I know roses, like, people have that name, in, or cats have that name in the books, but we've never actually seen a rose, like, as an herb. Why, why are there just roses growing on ThunderClan territory? Whatever. He asks softly, will you be my mate? You know what? I'm gonna straight up say no. Darkfeather was shocked. He ran away crying. You stood by the lake guiltily. Suddenly, a huge wave swept you away. You thrashed helplessly in the current and drowned. You woke up in Star Clan. Welcome. So I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I have played this one through before, just to make sure that it worked and everything, no broken links. And I said yes, and I lived. So apparently, if you just don't want to have a mate, you die. Yay! The next game we have is Warrior Cat's Path of a Warrior, and you know it's gonna be good when the first review you see is, I'm sorry, but it's kind of awful. There isn't really any description here, but I'm really happy that they gave credit to Aaron Hunter S. Warrior Cat's Path of a Hunter. This is where you become a true warrior. Thomas M. You wake up in the late morning. After you eat a vole from the fresh kill pile, your mentor tells you to hunt. You hunt mice or rabbits. Oh boy, I, I don't know. I had a rabbit. I shouldn't hunt rabbits. So I should probably say, in case you were wondering why sometimes there's a couple of like blips in the recording, sometimes the links don't work. Uh, that and my- oh, here we go. You go to the tallest trees you see. Tall pines. Thanks. You sense your mentor watching you, but you dare not look at her. You bring down five mice overall. You hear your leader shouting. Let's go to the clan meeting. We are low on warriors, so now the apprentices will now- All the apprentices will now become warriors. You hear- wrong here. Oh, Thomas M. Ooh, you hear cats starting to shout your new name. This is the moment you have been waiting for your whole life. It's been like two pages of this text adventure. I have not been waiting. As you go to the borders of your clan... Alright, I'm fairly certain that the, uh, the silent vigil is supposed to be held in the camp. But you know what? Fine. You see a shadow moving around a big tree. Just sit still. After a while, you see it's just a leaf. Oh, I'm glad. But now you smell a band of rogues. Or sorry, rouges. <laughs> oh no, not a band of red. You can stay and hopefully they won't notice you, or you can run back to camp and warn the clan. <laughs> I don't... Warn the clan. You go warn the clan, it's a tough paddle. <laughs> it's the wrong it's again. Does nobody know how to use it's? Do you go for the leader or deputy? Good lord. Let's go for the deputy. Deputy's got one life to live. You attack the deputy, he kills you. What?